All right, guys. Uh, Indiana just beat Michigan. <clears throat> I'm extremely excited. Uh, what's funny is, is I have a preview vlog coming up. Uh, the preview vlog is uh, I was supposed to upload today before the game. It just didn't happen. Uh, I did have one preview up. I did predict Indiana to win between 8 to 10 points with the potential of winning by 15. That's exactly how I said it in the vlog, but anyway, uh, yeah, I just, man, I have to really get, do a little bit better job uploading these vlogs. Uh, just, it's a lot of work, and you just kind of sometimes underestimate the editing, and I shot a lot last night because I tried to get everything crammed in, but I'm just going to give you a reaction now. Just off the top of my head, I haven't looked at any stats or nothing. Oladupo just, uh, I'm going to start calling him Superman. I mean, and you know what? I mean, people can believe me or not, whatever. Last year against Kentucky in the uh, in the regional uh, semifinal game uh, in the NCAA tournament, I seen a little depot making that big jump uh, in his performance. I did because he carried that team against Kentucky last year. So, uh, but boy, this year, I'm telling you, he, he is just awesome. Cody Zell, he is everything I expect him to be this year now. Finally, I mean, he just let it up. Uh, Waffle was doing good. Uh, Shahi seemed to be doing pretty good. Yogi Ferrell shooting good three-pointers, lights out. <clears throat> he did get off to a slow start this season, but uh, he is starting to light it up now. So I could see Tom Queen allowing him to take three pointers now uh, more often, which is fine with me. <clears throat> uh, I know I said we should limit his shooting. I still think we should, but I think we should let him shoot just a little bit more. Uh, Old Depot's been. Uh, <clears throat> He's been hot beyond the all too. I mean, unbelievable. But anyway, uh, yeah, you just have to, you just have to be pretty happy with, uh, if you're an Indiana fan. Uh, I do have respect for Michigan. They did play well. I mean, as bad as the start as they had this game, and as hot as the start Indiana had, they battled back and they played well. It's really going to be difficult to win in uh, Ann Arbor. But, uh, honestly, uh, the pressure's off in the end. You know, we, we've beat them once, and, you know, if we lose there, hey, we split, you know. So the pressure's on Michigan. Uh, in the end, I can't celebrate too long. They play at Ohio State, I believe, a week from today, I, or a week from tomorrow, something like that. Uh, they still have to play at Michigan State. They still have to play at Michigan. Uh, I think they play at Illinois Tuesday night. So, uh, you know, it's a never-ending brutal schedule for anybody in the Big Ten. And that most definitely means Indiana still, too. Indiana will be ranked number one in the coaches' AP poll this week. My poll, let's see what happens. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I'll leave Florida number one or Indiana number one? I mean, will I put Indiana number one? Uh, Kansas lost today, number two team in the country, AP coaches poll. Uh, Michigan lost because Indiana beat them. So let's see. Uh, I had uh, Florida uh, number one. I had Indiana four, Michigan two, Kansas three. That was my top four. Uh, Anyway, I think Indiana played played outstanding defense too. Uh, <clears throat> issues, okay, issues I have against Michigan, the Michigan game uh, with Indiana, the way they played. There were times where Indiana got ahead of themselves. Uh, Yogi Ferrell too, and they turned the ball over a little bit more than what I want to see. So they have to take battle care of that basketball. Uh, they do get ahead of themselves. Uh, and they just showboat it a little too much. But every great team does that. Even Kentucky last year did it. So, you know. But uh, you have to like how uh, how Indiana played tonight for Indiana fan. Uh, 
You know, I mean, there was a couple offensive rebounds Michigan got. I don't know. Michigan, Glenn Robertson, I believe, the third, I believe he was a non factor line, I believe. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it seemed like it. I don't know. I have, Like I said, I haven't looked at the stats. Um, Tom Queen gets to go to the Super Bowl now. I mean, he's probably loading his plane flying to the Super Bowl. Uh, and Indiana is just at the top of the world. I mean, definitely the Hallball family is going to have the Super Bowl trophy in their family. Now, if Tom Queen can win the national championship this year, uh, the Hallball family will have the Super Bowl championship and the College Basketball National Championship and no family. You can't beat it. Uh, and I'm sure Tom Crane will be featured on tomorrow's uh, telecast. I'm so excited for Indiana basketball right now. It's about time. It really is. Uh, Indiana's back. Uh, sorry to the rest of the country. Uh, I hope you made the most out of your time without Indiana uh, returning to its status. I mean, so if you didn't do nothing while Indiana was down, uh, your time's ran out. Indiana's, you know, the sleeping giant has awakened. Uh, so just like all the other giants that have fallen asleep, Kentucky has fallen asleep, UCLA has fallen asleep, Duke. North Carolina, every one of them teams had down news. Well, they didn't even make the tournament in the last 20 years. So there you go. Uh, but anyway, I think that's it. Tomorrow, hopefully, I give you a battle. Uh, I'll, I'll break things down a, a little bit battle. Uh, I mean, you know, right now, uh, right now, I have to upload the second part of my preview. I'm still going to upload it. Uh, I'm just really going to make sure I upload these videos on time, so, but, uh, yeah, look, this is Indiana, look at the snow, look at the snow, look at my window, <laughs> okay, but anyway, uh, till tomorrow, uh, go IU, and by, by the way, this game blew, blowed away, <laughs> somebody is looked at me. <laughs> yep, I'm filming myself, talking to my camera. Okay, but anyway, uh, you can't, I don't think the Super Bowl could beat what we had in Bloomington today. You just don't. Have, I mean, I love the Super Bowl, I love football, but man, basketball, you just can't beat it. You can't beat the madness. You can't. But anyway, until tomorrow, go IU. Peace. Oh, I forgot. I have to thank Indiana for uh, giving me a happy belated birthday present. Thank you, Zell. Thank you, Waffle. Thank you, Depot. Thank you, uh, Halls. Elston. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Tom Queen. Thanks to my Indiana Hoosiers for giving me a birthday. Uh, a birthday. An awesome birthday present. Thank you. Peace.